Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all my basketball aficionado, especially to all my Laker fans. Today is a great day. It is March 28, 2021, a little after 11.40 a.m. here in the city of Los Angeles. And great news, an article by Harrison Fagan from SB Nation. It is being reported that Andre Drummond will reportedly sign with the Lakers upon clearing waivers. The Lakers have filled one of their open roster spots and will sign Andre Drummond. Well, it's almost official after tons of rumored interest going back months. The Los Angeles Lakers will sign former Cleveland Cavaliers center Andre Drummond when he clears waivers, according to Adrian Wojnarowski of ESPN. The Lakers were long considered the frontrunners for Drummond even before he was bought out. Their players uh, started recruiting him before the Cavaliers had even finished waiving him. And they were on the list of teams he was expected to meet with once he got free of his contract in Cleveland. Well, Andre Drummond is now the second player with the initials AD to rebuff a full-court press from the Boston Celtics and also reject his substantial interest from the New York Knicks. Instead, he headed, he's headed to L.A. for the chance to chase a ring alongside his friend Anthony Davis and fulfill his dream of playing with LeBron James. What will Drummond bring to the Lakers? Well, that's an interesting question. Well, another large human Frank Vogel can use to wall off the rim and one of the greatest rebounders in NBA history for my story on his potential addition earlier this week. If he makes his way to the Lakers, Drummond would provide a center of a type more similar to what Dwight Howard and JaVel McGee brought last season than the options the Lakers have used this year. He is more mobile and athletic than Mark Gasol, a uh, low bar I know and is arguably the greatest rebounder in the history of basketball. Does that sound like a hyperbole? Well, or an overdose of purple and gold Kool-Aid? Well, he's averaging 13.8 boards per game for his uh, career, which ranks 8th all-time in NBA history and first among active players per basketball reference. He also has the best rebound percentage in the NBA history, grabbing 24.59% of all misses while he's on the floor. Is he worth uh, playing over Mark Gasol and Montrose Harrell? It appears the Lakers think so, and given Rob Palenka's hit rate on role players and buyout guys so far, Drummond deserves a shot to prove he can be the answer to whatever supposed issues the best defense in the NBA has. And to be fair to Drummond, at just 27 years old, with all the natural tools in the world, and in his first time in a winning situation, of the flaws he's demonstrated previously on both ends of the floor may be easier to iron out, allowing him to accentuate the things he actually is incredible at. Drummond will not clear waivers until Sunday night, uh, 48 hours after Cavaliers officially waived him. After that, he can sign his next contract, and this one will fill one of the Lakers' two open roster spots so they can sign one more player in a buyout market. So Drummond won't be available when the Lakers takes on the Orlando Magic at Staples Center on Sunday, but he might be in attendance for the game, according to Brad Turner of the Los Angeles Times. So for more Laker talk, make sure you come back here to the channel. And yours truly, Eddie Gigi, thank you so much for tuning in. And once again, congratulations to all the Laker fans and welcome to the Lakers. Andre Drummond, until next time, peace and we are out.